What's going on guys, p Dog here and welcome to a very special Dose of the Dog, my annual EVO weekend predictions Dose of the Dog. And as you can see I'm no longer doing the little, uh, you know, just regular audio, I'm actually doing it through the webcam and stuff. First of all, a few, a few disclaimers, <laughs> it's very hot over here today, it's like record breaking temperatures so apologies if I do look a bit red and sweaty a bit, but nevertheless. And also if you hear some stuff in the background, it's also the 12th of July which is a national holiday over here. So, like, because we're we're in Northern Ireland, we're celebrating our union with the United Kingdom. So, if you hear some like air horns or like things driving by, then that's probably why. So, anyway, that's not going to dampen my spirits. We have got Evolution 2013 going on right now. Last year I did this with Sandman, but Sandman's right of Cyprus, so I'm afraid it's just me this time. And because I'm doing the expo thing, I can now do like the conversion, like between the two things. But anyway. I'm going to be talking about two, about three games here. We're going to be talking about Street Fighter 4, Street Fighter Cross Tekken, and Marvel. So it's very exciting, and we're going to be seeing uh, what's going to be happening at the tournament this time around. Always very exciting, record-breaking, uh, record-breaking numbers once again. I think it's over 6,000 people maybe entering into it this year. So it's going to be hype as always. So I guess without further ado, we might as well get stuck in. So. The first game we're going to talk about is probably the game we're going to be speaking the least about, and that's Street Fighter Cross Tekken. The reason why I'm not speaking that much about it is because the finals are only the top eight are being streamed, the polls aren't being streamed and stuff, and I guess that's because of all the backlash that's been going on. Because a lot of people are like, no, we don't really like you know Cross Tekken, we really, like you know like after all the controversy, like the DLC, on this DSC, like you know like all this stuff, like the like the auto, like the gems and stuff, like some of the some of their plans behind it, a lot of people aren't really like fans of it. And so that's why maybe Evo, Evo staff didn't really want to show much stuff out of it, so that they could keep more people happy with like Street Fighter or Marvel, which is what a lot more people are interested in. So I guess that's probably why they did it. But in terms of people itself, it kind of annoys me about tournament play with Street Fighter Cross Tekken that you only see like the like the same three characters, and it's like Horang, Chun Li, and Rufus. Those are like the three characters you always see. Chun Li especially because she's got like ridiculous stuff going for her, and so you're probably going to see a lot of them at top eight. Uh, the only exception would probably be Cephalolol, I think is how you pronounce his name. He plays Kuma and someone else. I'm trying to remember who else he plays. It's not, it's, it's, I think it's another Tekken character, but he he plays a very interesting team and um and obviously like people like cause he he's winning quite a lot of stuff as well for Trevor because he always plays quite highly, so people are expecting him to hit top eight. Other people probably be Justin Wong will probably make top eight again. We're probably gonna see people like uh, Ricky Ortiz, Chris G. Uh, all these other people that you normally see that always play like the same teams, you know, like a lot of people play Chun Li, Huang, or Chun Li, Rufus. So you'll probably see a lot of them. I just hope for some variety, to be honest, because I really hope to see some new characters and some characters are like undiscovered. Because there are a lot of characters in that game, and I think that you, the, everyone always just relies on, okay, let's pick Chun Li, Rufus, Huang. Yes, you know, we're just going to do well with these characters. But I think there's a lot more to be discovered about the game. Not many people give it a chance. And by the way, shout out to Kelvin Jones for to get me back into Street Fighter Cross Tekken. Because originally I didn't really like it, but now I'm starting to actually see the beauty, if you'd like to see of it. But um, it just seems like it's going to be a huge oversaturation of characters in that game, in the finals. It's going to be the same three characters. I just hope for some variety. So I don't really know who's going to win it, because I, I don't really keep up to do with tournament play, because they don't really show much tournament play. But I really do hope that we see, like different characters, especially different characters placing highly, like characters that not many people would expect, like maybe Marduk or Asuka or whatever how you pronounce your name. Um or I don't know some other characters like Dudley probably you know Dudley, Cody, all these good characters that like came out. Like but you never really see them in tournaments, so I just hope that we see that we see some stuff going on, but if that doesn't happen then I don't know. But uh, yeah, I'm fully expecting those people to make it up in the finals, but I don't think anyone else like I, I uh, it's going to be quite annoying because I'm going to be very upset if it is going to be like another Chun Huang like top three or whatever. That's going to be dumb, and a lot of people are going to be turned off by it, myself included. I just hope that some people do well, and I'm I'm rooting for my boy Kelvin John. I hope he does well at this tournament because he he has a crazy uh, kazoo, that's for sure. Now it's kind of funny because I've been I've already covered one game and haven't even used the X split split screen yet, so I might as well move on to it from Marvel. So Marvel. I don't really play much Marvel, but I have been seeing what's been going on. And for Evo, it's pretty much Chris G versus the world. Like, take a look at this. This is a poll that uh, the event hubs. All all these things I'm doing up here is um, event hubs here. But now here we go. Who will win the Evo 2013 Ultimate Marvel vs. Capcom 3 tournament? Chris G. Eight times the votes of anyone else here. 54.6% of people think Chris G is going to win. 
I, and then Filipino jumped second with only 9%. So, what does it say? It says that Christian needs to be beaten. Because a lot of people are, a lot of people are sick of him. Because he has that same like, strategy. He has like, the Morgan, Dr. Doom, Virgil, like, chip, chip you to death type team. Uh, but you got to give him some credit because he makes it work. And he's very good at what he does. So, I mean, it's very nice of him to, like, no, not very nice. It's very, like, respectful that he's actually, like, sticking with his team and stuff. And he hasn't, like, go and berserk. But a lot of people are trying to steal this team. Like, you see a lot of people trying to pick up Morgans and stuff now. And, like, Justin Wong even saying that she's S plus tier. Like, that's kind of ridiculous. But I don't play Marvel, so maybe right. But, um, but you see that Christy, like, a lot of people really don't want him to win, it seems. And so, basically, the whole hype factor of Marvel is who can beat Christy, who has the best tech to beat, uh, like, uh, Morgan. Last year, it was about Phoenix, pretty much. And then, or like to the past two years, it's always Phoenix, and this year it's all about Morgan. Who can stop Morgan? Pretty much is what's going on. In terms of other people, I think Chris is going to win it. To be honest, I actually voted for him in this vote, in this poll. I think that like, like as much as people are getting uh, trying to beat him, I don't think he can be beaten at this stage because he's still winning every Marvel tournament he's entered into, pretty much. And so it just seems like he's very tough to beat. And I don't think, and I think at Evo, while the tech will be there, I still think he'll be able to overcome it. Because you guys got to keep in mind that. Despite the fact that all these people are actually learning new tech against Chris G, Chris G is probably learning how to stop said tech. So he's probably like finding, okay, if someone hits me with this, how do I get out of it? How do I do this? How do I do that? So he's obviously going to be prepared to. It's not as if he's going to, you know, sit in his room like twiddling his thumbs waiting for Evo to come along. He's going to be sitting there practicing as much as anyone else is trying to beat him. So I think you got to keep that in mind. In terms of other people that are going to place high in this poll, you also see Filipino champ Justin Wong, etc. You see all these, all these, like someone else. That's pretty funny. Uh, you have all these people place the, the people want to place highly. I agree that all these people will probably get top eight. Philip and John will probably get top eight. Uh, but I don't think he's going to win. I don't think he's going to beat Chris G. Chris is still going to beat him. Justin Wong, again, another close one. Uh, Yipes, Flocker, Marin, Pierre Barrick, all these people. Marin involved, that's pretty funny. Even though Marin did almost beat Philip and John at the latest curly mustache. But, and then Pierre Barrick and stuff. Like, very, very good Marvel players. But I don't think any of them's going to beat Chris G. And I'm pretty sure that, like, most of them are going to get top eight, but. Uh, I, I think Christy's still just going to tech it, I'm afraid, so... I guess before we continue on to Street Fighter 4, I didn't see this, I'm, go I'm running quite fast because, uh... You know, I actually recorded this before, and it took me about 45 minutes, and just to realise my mic was turned off. So I'm not very happy, but I'm basically... I guess I kind of rambled a bit now, and I'm just doing like an abridged version of this now, so it's probably going to be about half that size, so it's going to be a lot better. Um, In terms of the like, Asians that are going to be in Marvel, like, Chiquito's probably going to be their best bet. Because I remember Daigo tried to, sorry, it was, I remember Daigo tried to play Marvel and it was, it didn't go very well. So he's just, he's just sticking with Street Fighter 4. Anyway, so, I guess before we continue, we'll talk about some of the other stuff that's going on at EVO that isn't particularly fighting game related. Um, some controversial things have been happening, such as Dominion asking for donations to go to EVO, only for, uh, VXG, I think that's what you pronounce it, and EMP, paying everyone back, because they actually be able to afford it now. It's really bizarre. But it caused a lot of controversy at its time. In addition, something very recently that happened was that Nintendo actually, like Nintendo, like stopped granting permission for Evo to stream Smash, and it was on the verge of like stopping the tournament altogether. It was kind of a douchey move because the Smash players did donate over a hundred thousand dollars to uh, Cancer Research, and so for them to just say no, you can't do it, that'd be kind of mean. But they have re they have re revoked their decision. And so it's going to be interesting for for Smash to actually get back here. And Smash has actually got the third most entries. Like obviously Street Fighter's first, Marvel's second. Smash is third, if you can believe it. So it's pretty pretty nuts that they're actually that popular. But anyway, but probably another in terms of like on a positive note, Capcom are going to be announcing something Street Fighter 4 related. Uh, a lot of people are saying it's probably going to be an update video, and I'll have to agree with that. I think it's going to be a version 2013 update video. We're going to be talking about all the changes that they're making. In addition to probably like a, re I'm gonna say they're even gonna have a release date as well. I'm gonna guess maybe September, October of this year, similar to when AE came out. I believe it was that was when AE came out. So I do think they're gonna have a release date in addition to a video. People are saying, oh, new characters. Well, I I don't think they're gonna be releasing new characters because next gen is this year, and I doubt they're gonna be wanting to go back to Street Fighter 4 after this update. So they're probably gonna make this update, and then that's gonna be it for Street Fighter 4. Like you, like take it or leave it, because then they're gonna they're gonna start working on another Street Fighter game. So. Still, I also think that like on my, on my wish list, I would also hope to have some features in there, like some featured stuff, like maybe have like online training, like stuff that they've had from like other fighting games, like, online training mode, championship mode from Street Fighter Four, 
you know, hopefully, I don't know, it'll be fun if they do. Um, but anyway, I guess we might, I'm not sure what's going to be at. Whoop, whoop. Okay, sorry, I was out of mixture there. Okay, so I guess now we'll talk about Street Fighter 4, the Big Daddy tournament, for me at least. A lot of people are like, no, Marvel should be last. I still think Street Fighter 4 should be last, because it's still, you've got the big rivalry, Daigo or Infiltration, who's going to win Street Fighter uh, uh, 2013? But before we talk about that, let's talk about some of the other stuff that's going on here. Here we have a Europe versus USA team 7v7, and it basically it's just a little fun thing that's going on, so it's going to be interesting. I'm, I'll be looking forward to it, uh, because obviously I'm from Europe, so I'll be rooting for them. But in these teams, we've got Ryan Hart with Sagat, Perplex with Rufus, Problem X with Seth, Love You with Rufus, Andres with Rufus, F Word with Bookie, and Two Back with C Viper. And it's funny because of all these people, I've played F Word, Luffy, Problem X. I th yeah, I've played, th I've played all three. I've played those three. So it's kind of funny. I've almost beat Problem X as well, which is kind of funny. But uh, Two Pack, I believe he's like an online. Like he, I see he's like an online warrior. F Word's kind of like an online warrior. Problem X is kind of like an online warrior as well. You kind of need to be in Europe because there's not many, there's not as many tournaments in Europe as there are in. America or Asia or whatever. So you're almost are rely reliant to online. And I think online in Europe is pretty good to be fair, because I don't I don't really know what's much of a difference. Anyway, I think as good as this team is, and we have two rivers, it's pretty funny. I don't think it's gonna beat America. Because if you see America's team, here it is. We got Dominion with Gael, Borog with Borog, you know, obviously PR Rog with Borog, Chris with Ken, K Rab with Kami, Chris G with Sakura, Mark Teddy with Guy and Latif with C Viper. And you have so many good players there. Like you have numerous like top eighters for Street Fighter Four. You know, Pierre Borrow came like third at one to, uh, like at twenty twelve. A uh, Dominion, uh, another top eighter last year. So you have all these people. K Brad beat Infiltration. Like you have all these crazy people that are going there in Team USA. And I just don't think that Europe will be up to the challenge of beating this team. Oh yeah, and also Latif came second in uh, twenty eleven. Yeah, how could I forget that? Uh, Mark Teddy, I haven't even heard of him, but apparently he's like the best guy player in America. But I, I do think that America, ha even though having less top tier than Europe, is still going to win, I think. Uh, which is kind of upsetting, because I would like Europe to win. But I, I do think that America will probably take the kick for that. So, Especially because, you know, you got Dominion and ROG and Latif, and they all attend more tournaments than Europe, because there's more tournaments in America. And so they have more experience than, than Team Europe. So obviously they're going to be more experienced in fighting all these different characters and different play styles, whereas Europe will be more dependent on, like, other stuff, other factors. So... As well as I like Europe to win, I still think America's going to take it. Okay, but anyway, and as you can see, a lot of people agree with me. 65 by 34, America's going to win. Anyway, and the second one, this is very interesting. Eight teams, 3v3, for $1,000, character locked. And it's pretty ridiculous, because you actually have um, all these different teams from... Like, like there's not just like... It's not like Canada Cup, where it's like different nationalities. you got like different... Like, most of the time it is, but you got other stuff going on, like sponsors, like the first one you see here. So I guess we'll go over each team here. we got Punku... Big the Mule and Ken Zazang, whatever the heck that is. Obviously, Punko is very well known for beating Daigo in 2011 and stuff, and placing very highly and winning Shadow Lu Showdown in 2011. But I don't really know the other two guys, so I can't really comment on them. But even then, I, I don't think this team really has much of a chance when you see the lineup for these other teams. I'll say that. China, we got Shao Hai, Dakao, and Dark Zewa, I believe that's how you pronounce it. Shao Hai and Dakao, very strong players, very good. Um, oh, yeah, if I was to predict each character, Seth, obviously for Punko. I don't know. I don't know where these two guys. I really hope for Dan because you know Dan the name. You know Dan. Anyway, and Ke Dan and Ken. Ooh, or Zhang. You know if we replace it off of Y, it probably makes sense. But nevertheless, Shao Hai probably a bit Kami again. The Cow, very strong Ryu player, probably one of the best in Asia for sure. Um, and then I don't really know who Dog Zhuo is, so I don't really, I can't really comment on that. But China, I think is a pretty good team. Like I said, kind of similar to Cafe Edwards. Instead of just one really good player that I know of, we've got two really good players that I know of, but still. And when you see these other teams, it's quite interesting. There's Europe again. We've got Ryan Hart, Allium, and Luffy. Ryan Hart with Sagat, Allium with Kami, and Luffy with Rose. So, very interesting team again. This time Allium's in this, rather than the Europe team where he isn't. But I think this is a much stronger team that they have here. Because you've got three really good players. You've got Ryan Hart, obviously, with the experience. Allium with, with more, with like, a lot of the, the strategic stuff with the Kami matchup. And then Luffy with his Rose, like, expertise. So I think this could be a, this this is almost like a really good wild card team because I think this can kind of, this is, I hope they do well but once again it's one of those Europe things where you think they're gonna do well and then <laughs> really work that well. All right, we got the Far East, which is a very strong. That's probably one of my best contenders. The Far East, we got Cien, Gamer B, and Human Bomb, all top eighters by a long shot. Obviously, Gamer B coming second last year. Yes, second last year. 
Heumannbaum in top eight last year. Shane unfortunately not making it in the top top eight last year, but he's still he's been winning tournaments left right and center. He's another big one to win it. So I think it was a very strong team to win. But I think the team that will win is the one that's coming up right now, which is Japan. Now just look at this team here. Hold on, let me move this a little bit. Now just look at this team here. We got Daigo Sako Fudo. Tournament Evo winner two times. Evo winner. Topanga winner. So I mean they're all just winners in this team and so it's very hard to like to, to fight against them. Obviously Daigo is he's a legend, he's probably one of like the best known Street Fighter 4 player in the world right now. Sako, very strong, like he's got the like, crazy expertise with like his odd characters. Like he plays he's been playing Evil Re. I really hope he sticks with him, but I doubt he is. I think he's gonna go with a Boogie or Kami or some other rush down character. And then Fudo obviously with Fei Long, another Evo winner. I think did he get top no he didn't get top yet, I don't think, last year. But Daigo did get top eight last year. Psycho always has like stage running, he always cracks, but if he doesn't crack for this, because there isn't really that much pressure for this, because you do have Daigo and Fudo in your team, so I don't think there's that much pressure going for you. I think that team's going to win it, to be honest, because I mean, I think the team is so strong that it's very hard to, to bet against them, to be honest. So, I guess we'll just see what happens for that, but I do think Japan Japan's going to win it. Another very strong team, in North America, PR Borog, Justin Wong, Chris G. Three of the best American Street Fighter 4 players. I'd probably say if you if they were to have a really good chance, probably get rid of Christian and replace him with someone else. Maybe Wolf Kroon or something like that, because Wolf Kroon did very well in Canada Cup last time. So, but apart from that, Pierre Borog, obviously very strong, going with Borog, I'm guessing. Justin Wong with his, with his, another very famous Street Fighter 4 player. And then uh, Chris G, who just seems to be winning a lot of stuff now, so obviously he's going to be in here with his Sakura again, so... I, I think North America is going to have just as good a chance as, like, uh, as, like probably a better chance in Europe, but not as good of a chance as Far East. And then Japan is just pff, miles ahead of everyone else, I think. South America, I can't really say for South America, because I don't really know any of these teams, so... Are they good? I don't know, maybe. And then the Evil Wild Card, which... This actually looked a lot more intimidating beforehand. It was... So you got Dominion, Alex Valle, and Poppy. Obviously, America, America, Europe. However, before this, I believe instead of Alex Valle, we actually had Infiltration in Evil Wild Cards. And just because Infiltration was there, pretty much everyone was like, oh, Wild Cards is going to win. Because you got Infiltration and Poppy, both of which got to finals in that recent tournament, which probably actually beat Infiltration twice for. And then Dominion, who's another top eater. Who, you know, so it's pretty crazy that they had that team. Unfortunately, they got Alex Valle. I think their chances are kind of, you know, they're pretty bad now. Not to say that Alex Valle is a, ba a bad player, but I think that... There's a lot more potential to win if you have like the, like the Evo winner from last year in your team, but I don't, I, he probably dropped out for something, for maybe because he, he's, he's he's already entering a lot of stuff. Like he's entering Street Fighter Four, he's entering Cross Tagum, he's entering a few other games in Trinidad, I think so. Uh, King of Fighters maybe I'm not too sure. Maybe that's my goal I'm thinking about. But yeah, so in in terms of this, Japan's gonna win it I think. Far East is gonna come very close. I think it's gonna be Japan and Far East is gonna be second, first second sorry, and then North America might come third. And then I'll probably say Europe and Evil Wildcard probably be like a tie, perhaps. And then these, then these things I can't really comment on, to be honest. I don't really know much about them, so what, what, what? Oh well. And then those are my thoughts on the uh, on the team things going on. And now let's actually talk about the big one: who's going to win Evil 2013 Street Fighter 4? There seems to be this big clash between who's going to win between Daigo and Infiltration, because those are the two they fought twice before. Uh, last year's Evo, they fought in a winners bracket. And then at the Street Fighter 25th Anniversary Tournament, they fought in Grand Final. Infiltration is won each time. Like, he like he won both uh, both bites. So, basically, it's almost like... I hear this, like it's crazy to say this, but it seems like Daigo was the underdog in, in this tournament in terms of beating Infiltration and some of these other big players. But, mo but mostly into Infiltration. It seems... It's kind of funny because the Chris G situation in Marvel is what Daigo was like 3-4 years ago. Whenever everyone was like trying to find out, oh, what tech do we have to stop Daigo and stuff. Now it's like... What tech do we have to stop infiltration? But then let's just hope that Daigo can overcome him and beat him. So obviously they're going to be pitted off against each other at some point. It's going to be a ridiculously hype match. You know who's going to win it? Is it going to be Daigo infiltration? You know we we don't know yet, but it's going to be fun anyway. It's going to, I'm looking forward to it. And then this is the rest. We've got Shen. We've got Mike Ross. And, I love that Mike Ross at fourth. But I think if I was like my dream winner, I'd probably, I'd probably be Shen because he's got such a good winning streak the past few tournaments. And I think I'd really like him to take the big one, especially with a character as, as ridiculous as, as Gan. He won CEO 2013. He won a few other tournaments. He won, um, oh, what do you call it? East Coast Showdown, was it? There was one whenever Justin Wong and him were in the final and he beat Justin Wong. But 
He's been on these huge winning streets. He's beaten like people like like Infiltration. He's beaten Daigo. He's beaten all these people, and it'd be really good to see him come to the big stage Evo where he's never been top eight. For him to come for his first top eight, it's kind of like Fudo where his first top eight he won. So for this one, like he'd come in, beat all the players that he's beaten before again, just to prove you know how good he is, and then take the whole tournament. But like I said, he might have the Sako you might have the Sako illness, which is getting stage fight really easily and dropping everything. And because someone like Gen, you can't afford to drop any of your combos. And so that's why Sako's fifth, because a lot of people really want him to do well. I really want him to do well. But if he gets a stage fight again, then it's just going to be very unfortunate for him. Because he done really well. He won Topanga League back in Japan. But then for him to go to America, he always seems to like have like, he always seems to like crack in his gameplay. But if he can play really strong, I could fully expect him to be a top eight. So in terms of my top eight, I can't exactly say, you know, I'm not sure if I can give you a definite one, but we've got Daigo for sure, Infiltration for sure, Shen I really hope so, Sako I really hope so, Gamerby I'm pretty sure will be there, Fudo perhaps will be there, he's probably got as much chance as maybe like Takedo or Mago, like you know those people, he's kind of fallen into that category now. In terms of America we've probably got Dominion is probably a very good bet, PR Borog is a very good bet, Justin Wong I'd want to say is a very good bet, but he never really... He hasn't been in a in a top eight since 2009, if you can believe that. So I don't think he's going to be coming back anytime soon, unfortunately, for Street Fighter 4. So, but I do think these other American players are going to be doing very well and will probably get top eight. But in terms of Europe, I like it's unfortunate because I don't think I could say any Europe player, any European player is going to win. Because someone like Poppy, like sure he'd be infiltration, but in a big tournament like Evo, I'm not sure if he's going to be able to keep his nerve. But I really do hope that he can, but. It's just gonna be interesting to see what see what he can do, but if he does well, more power to him. But I I, I don't really have high hopes because we had high hopes for Alien. He did quite well, but he just wasn't. He just didn't, you know, get, go to the top eight, get to the high note. Uh, and that's what's happening with a lot of these players. Like a lot of these players, like Paulie Sacco and Cien and Mike Ross and Justin Wong. All these people, like they're really good, but they just are not good enough to push up into the top eight. Like these consistent people, like Infiltration or Daigo or any of these other people that always make top eight. Like Gamer V is another one. So, that would probably be my predictions. In terms of winning it, like I said, Shane is my is who I really want, is who I want to win and I'll be rooting for. Because, I mean, I, I also like Gen as a character. I think he's a really neat character. And I think he's one of those characters where he's like very undiscovered about him, and that's why he's winning quite a lot. But I do think that in, in, the, in the fight between Daigo and Infiltration, I still think Infiltration is going to take it. I think Infiltration has been too consistent these past few months to, to lose at Evo. So that's just what I think. I could be entirely wrong, and I probably am, but we'll just see what happens. But I still think Infiltration, if, if CN doesn't win it, I'd probably say Infiltration before we take it again, unfortunately. And I know it's going to be it's going to probably kill the hype like it did last year, but it'll. But now, like last year, he just kind of came out of nowhere and he started winning every everyone. I'm just kind of like, I know it's almost like the Chris G thing where he's been winning all these tournaments and now it's like, can we beat him? Except for Infiltration, he's, he's already lost some tournaments, so... But we'll just see what happens. So that's my predictions for Street Fighter 4, again, because I had to do it twice. I hope you guys enjoyed it. My name is Pete Oak. <laughs> my name is Pete Oak. No, my name is Pete Oak. And I'll see you guys on Monday when we'll talk about the results and, who, and what I think about them. And, you know, if anything went my way, which it probably didn't. Hold on, let me put it back to the big screen. There it is. And uh, I look forward to you then. So until then, my name is Pete Oak, and I'll see you guys. Let me just get my little key notifications off, like from the point of the screen. My name's Pete, yeah, that's this is what I want. Okay, so until then, my name's Pete Dog. Hope you enjoyed this just of the dog, and I'll see you guys next time.